What's up, bitches? Fucking game day, baby. Shop challenge number one. Uh, standard. Gonna play Tommy or uh, probably not the best choice in the world, but best choice for me. Uh, going stability over anything else. <laughs> Is stability good? I'll take stability. Uh, it should be a good event. Fucking. Hopefully, we get a decent turnout and. I'll let you know how it goes after. Boom! Like, we need the Muppet for Nats. So if you don't have the Muppet, we're going to be super sad when you do your vlog for Digimon Nats. <laughs> Is it just me, the Muppet? Yeah. <laughs> just like a wizard Muppet. Yeah. It'll be fucking hype. And this is totally going in, too. I'm recording this part. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Everybody needs to know about the wizard Muppet that we're definitely making. Uh, but shop challenge tonight fucking sucked dick for myself. Uh, second last, because I got deed. I got D's nuts. But uh, my boys here didn't do bad. Uh, Alex got top four. And Lucas finished 2-2? Two 2-2. -two? Two -two. Respectable. Yeah. Uh, Lucas, you were super close to getting the bounty. Uh, if we called the bounty at uh, rounds, you would have gotten it, but we had to wait until the entire tournament was over. Fair enough. So he got bounced out of it, but Oof. almost top 2-2, two, two, and then top 4. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yep, super yep. close. But, yeah, pretty good fucking event. We had 25 people playing, and then uh, like 30 plus people in the room. So from like an organizer standpoint, I feel like it was super successful. But uh, from a player standpoint, can't help but be a little bit disappointed. But uh, when people don't die when you kill them, it's kind of what happens in Vanguard. So over triggers are a very fair and balanced mechanic, Gary. Absolutely, that's why I support them wholeheartedly. You see my copium here; it would make sense. But yeah, we'll see you next week. Next week's our V Shop challenge. Uh, hopefully, we'll kick some ass. This guy's gonna play some Steam Maidens and probably kick everybody's ass. And uh, Alex is gonna jank it up. It's gonna be great. And I have to try not to tilt into Old Faithful. No, try. Play Himiko. Yeah, try really, really, really fucking hard. <laughs> we'll see you later. All right. So here's our deck list for tonight. And a little bit of the tournament recap. Uh, tonight was our shop challenge for Standard. And with the shop challenge format, uh, we decided to run it with uh, best of ones for Swiss, and then best of three into top eight. Uh, regretfully, we didn't make it into top eight. But, gonna be honest, I don't regret my choices. I don't regret my play. There may have been one or two things that I'd like to have done differently in one game, uh, but I don't know if that would have changed the outcome of the game. Uh, for the most part, I felt like I did the best I could with what I was given. Uh, don't want to make excuses. At the end of the day, this record is on me. Uh, whether it was triggers flowing my way or not, it's just kind of the way she goes. So... Uh, we ran with pretty much the same list as we ran last time. We just dropped one of the Foxfire Orders for another Orlando, and I felt like that worked. But uh, round one, played against Nirvana, had a really good grindy matchup against Nirvana, pretty much had the game clinched, uh, six damage OT. Um, not much you can do when people don't die when you kill them. Uh, game two against Seraph. Uh, I've got a good early rush going. Um, Alec is playing Seraph. He loses by IC three Seraphs. One goes into soul and two go into damage. So I'm just like, oh, we're, we're safe. Unfortunately, that's kind of the wrong mindset to have. Uh, because then he ended up flipping a, a shit ton of triggers. And there were a lot of triggers and he got lots of triggers. I didn't get a lot of triggers. And I, I didn't prepare myself for that inevitability and that's kind of those, like that, I want to say, if there was anything that I would take back, it would be a little bit in that game. But again, it's prison. I don't know if it goes, like it still goes the way it does, or if it changes, based on how I played it. Um, but, took the L there, just because the big columns came out, and I just didn't have enough to deal with the counter rush. Um, 
from early game pressure. And then triggers on top of it. Round three, played against uh, Kenna. She was playing Barrow Magnus. Uh, whenever we get paired together, uh, her deck pretty much turns off. Uh, same thing happened today. I got to go first. Uh, on her first grade three turn with Barrow, she only got to 10 to 12 soul. And that's not enough to really do anything. And then she died on my second grade three turn. So, lovey, dovey, yay. Um, it's a rough night for her, but she's already made two top eights and shop challenges in another city this year. So, I know she's legitimately getting better. And one of these days, she's going to clap my ass. So, it, it's going to be what it is. And then round four, I play against Kyrie. Uh... Played against super nice guy from Edmonton, uh, at least I think it was from Edmonton, Wendell. He's hanging out with the guy who won it, Monish. Uh, Monish also from Edmonton. Fucking good run tonight, boys. But uh, we had a really good back and forth grind game. Uh, Tommy Ura against Kyrie. Um, you know, he saw pieces into the late game that kept him going. I didn't. Is what it is. Uh, I felt like I did the best I could with what I got. And what I ended up with was an L. So I don't know what I'm going to keep doing for Standard and for D. I don't think I'll have to play D again tournament-wise for another month. Because we have uh, V Shop Challenge next week, Premium Shop Challenge the next week. Uh, and then next week is our Trios. And for Trios, we play all three formats at the same time. So depending on what my team's needs are, like I'll fill. But, um, you know, and then then after that, when all the competitive players are gone, gone to regionals and we've done as much training for them as we possibly can, then we get another D tournament. And uh, I get a chance to redeem myself <laughs> with barely anybody there. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Um, disappointed in the result, not disappointed in myself or my play or any of my decisions pre-tournament or post or like pre-round two and post-round two. Felt like I did the best I could, uh, but we're going to own that L, we're going to wear it, and I'm going to do my best to uh, not repeat the same mistakes going into next week's V Premium Shop Challenge, and hopefully we'll kick some ass. Peace.